Welcome to the post-game press conference at the Bryce Jordan Center. I'm here with Penn State basketball head coach Ed DeChalice. So Ed, was tonight's loss simply a matter of missed shots? Well, that's part of it. But we also didn't get our feet under us before we shot the ball. Exactly what the hell does that mean? How should I know? You don't actually expect me to justify a 23-point loss at home to a middle-of-the-pack ACC team in what was advertised as the biggest non-conference home game of my career by saying the ball just didn't go through the net enough? Good point. Do you think your team is having trouble shooting the ball? Well, I think it's, it's trying to figure everybody out, number one. I don't think that's a, um, but our problems the other night weren't that. Our problems were mental mistakes, up, uh, and shooting the basketball, um, the issue has been we've got open shots, we haven't made them, and we missed some free throws, so, your team isn't having trouble shooting the ball, but the problem is shooting the ball, yes, do you realize you are contradicting yourself, hopefully no one ever notices what I say, or else they may realize I do not have a clue what the hell I'm doing. I agree with you coach I wonder, as do the few fans who actually care about Penn State basketball, what the hell you are doing on the sidelines. Next question, why does your team seem to lose in big games? Good question. If I knew, I'd make sure it didn't happen. You don't know, aren't you the head coach, shouldn't you have an understanding of your team? I'm stealing money here, if anyone ever caught wind, how little basketball sense I really have, I will be back 80s Tennessee State cleaning toilets in the offseason just to make ends meet, are you honestly saying you don't have an answer for that question? Yes I'm saying I cannot answer the question, because I do not have a clue as to what I'm doing coaching in the Big Ten, neither do I coach. Next question, have the mounting losses taken a toll on your team's psyche? Other people have lost games I think my, my thing to the guys, yesterday and today was, it's really really a fine line between winning and losing games, and so far we've been on the wrong side of that line. So, you blame your team's losses on being unlucky? Hey, if it works for the apologists, it works for me. So there isn't a specific moment you can point to in each loss? We haven't made a play when we need to make it. Haven't made a free throw when we need to make it. You know, didn't get a big rebound or defensive stop when we needed to. So, you know, I think we have the ability to make those plays, we just haven't, yet and, uh, I'm hoping we will. So, you believe your team is capable of doing something they haven't done before, and your method for reaching that goal is to hope it happens? Um, yes when you are as clueless as I am, hope is all you have. Fair enough let's change the subject, okay. Do you feel that teams like Michigan State are more successful than Penn State at basketball because Callan Lucas has a better supporting cast surrounding him than Taylor Battle? Well right now, that's the way it looks like. That sounds very non-committal. Are you suggesting that Penn State has players of equal talent as Michigan State? I cannot say. All I can say is that their head coach is light years ahead of where I am. Well, finally we find something we can both agree on.